amongst all of you who are gathered here. And we can only hope that it's just a matter of years that all of you will rise to hold very responsible offices if you continue this way. We came here this afternoon, we came here this afternoon with a very simple message. As you did hear from the first speaker, we are here to encourage you. Indeed, our original mission here is that we've been sent by His Excellency the President and we took the liberty to come and interact with you young folks because we see you as our young brothers and sisters. Particularly as you get ready to celebrate your 20th anniversary, we'd like to congratulate all of you and we'd like to especially congratulate the headmaster and the teaching staff. And um, as Ludwig did say, when we entered the headmaster's office with the three seats in front of him and we were summoned to sit on it, it reminded us of our secondary school days and we were seized with fear and trepidation because that's the headmaster's office. But the point is a very simple one. I attended a secondary school which was not war and even today as we speak, um, a greater part of it is still not war. So I can understand the stress and the difficulty that the teaching staff and the headmaster have to go through in order to keep you guys within the confines of a school compound. I think also that I know what it is, particularly, where are the boys? Let me see your hands in the air, all the boys, yeah. I know what it is like to have young boys, very enthusiastic, very energetic, very daring, um, like you, and to keep them within the confines of the world. But the situation is even something else when it comes to occasions like this and celebrations like this. We do know that some of you can get on the wild side. But we are here with a very simple message. At the end of it all, when you are out of here, one day you would have to come back here for testimonial. And as you carry yourself on a daily basis, the headmaster, the teaching staff, the pantry staff, they are all looking at you. One day, they will decide your fate. And if you want things to be easy for you, I think that you owe it to yourself from today to continue to conduct yourself in a manner that is acceptable so that when you make your excellent grade and one day you need your testimonial, your testimonial itself will be a further addendum to that brilliant result. We are here to tell you that apply yourself to your course. You are here for one reason and one reason only. Um, I'm sure that all of us all of us do come from different backgrounds, different financial circumstances and all, and all of that. There are parents who may have, others who may be struggling, and others who do whatever it is legitimate to ensure that they keep you in school. Please, don't disappoint your parents. Apply yourself to the course. Study as much as you can. You cannot succeed if you don't apply yourself to your books. And that is why we are here so study as much as you can, take your course seriously, obey instructions from your teachers, from the headmaster, from your school authorities, your boys' prefects and your girls' prefects and all of that, so that one day when you are out of here, you would have left a very wonderful legacy. One of the things that I remember when we were leaving school that people did was, this is a very excellent block, neatly painted, and you wake up one morning, and people have written, I was here some. Please, those of you who are here, we don't want you to wake up one morning writing your names all over the place, on the ceiling with candles, on the, on the school walls and, and stuff like that. It really is not such a fantastic example. But finally, and very finally, I'd like to give you the highest assurance of His Excellency the President that he cares about all of you and he admires what you are doing. You know that for a professor, he greatly admires people who are studying. It is the expectation of His Excellency the President that all of you will apply yourselves to your books, you will take your studies seriously, you will be disciplined, you will show respect to your parents at home, your teachers here, the headmaster. Make everybody's work easy so that when you walk out of here, you will have an excellent track record. That is why we are here to encourage you and to show you that this nation rests on you. I'm not sure that 
in 50 years, we are going to see the 70 year old still with us. That is where in 20 years, in 10 years, in 15 years, it is the investment that you people make in yourselves today, which will shoot you to the various offices that you are looking for, whether political office, whether professional, be they engineers, doctors, nurses, teachers, and all of that. So, I mean, there is no limit to what you guys can do. And indeed, I'm not one of those who believes that you have to attend a particular school in order to get to the top. I believe that you make your school. It is not your school that makes you. Finally, I'd like to dare to make this promise that in a matter of weeks, we'll make it. As you celebrate your 20th anniversary, in 7 to 14 days, we'll make available to the school authorities some exercise books for distribution to as many of the students as possible. Thank you.